It is week three for Inside Golf here in Orlando, Florida at the annual PGA Merchandise Show. Coming, we were awarded the matches in 2001, so we've had 13 years to prepare and we're ready for it. So what the groove technology does, different than, than what others do with their putter grooves in, in terms of the performance, they're deepest in the middle and they get gradually shallow. It really feels like snowboarding or surfing while you're on the course and the whole attraction to the product is uh, it's, it's a great way to get to Well, hi again, everybody. I'm Harry Donahue and welcome to Inside Golfers by Susquehanna Wealth Management. It is week three for Inside Golf here in Orlando, Florida at the annual PGA Merchandise Show. We'll be going inside the convention center, take a look at what's yeah, new in the new world putter, of golf, and talk to some of the game. biggest illuminaries that the game has. It's all coming up next, week three at the PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando, Florida on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Wealth Management. Inside Golf. Presented by Susquehanna Wealth Management, doing what counts. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA, experts in the game and business of golf. Free enterprise is the engine that drives our economy. Everyday businesses, big and small, work to make life better for their customers and a better life for themselves. Susquehanna knows successful businesses need a strong financial partner someone who can help keep your business running at peak efficiency. The people of Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts for businesses like yours. Member FDIC. At this moment, across the country, families are packing their bags for a getaway. And no matter where they end up, they'll all be home by dinner. Plan your own at PlayGolfAmerica.com. From finding fun and affordable programs to finding advice from PGA and LPGA professionals, PlayGolfAmerica.com has a way for you to get away. Visit today for details. PlayGolfAmerica.com, your link to the game. Well, later this year, Glen Eagles is going to be ground zero for the world of golf because it's the home of the Ryder Cup in 2014. And Billy Murray, guess what? He's director of golf marketing for Glen Eagles. Billy, this is going to be some year for you, huh? It is indeed, and we're very excited. Uh, it's been uh, a long time coming. We were awarded the matches in 2001, so we've had 13 years to prepare, and we're ready for it. There, I was going to say, is that enough time? Uh, <laughs> is there ever enough time? Uh, it's probably too long, but uh, you know we've done everything that we can. Uh, Jack Nicklaus was over a couple of years ago to make some changes to the course, so that's all in place, and we're ready. You're trying to get two people to just come over and enjoy the same golf course that the Ryder Cup competitors are going to be playing on, right? That's right, absolutely. Uh, the PGA Centenary course will host the Ryder Cup matches, and that was designed by Jack. Uh, but we also have two other courses, the Kings and Queens, uh, designed by James Braid. He was a five times Open champion. So we have a great mixture of golf courses at Glen Eagles for everyone to experience. Tell me about the resort. What makes Glen Eagles so special? We're a five-star resort. We're an hour from Glasgow and Edinburgh in the heart of Scotland. Um, we, like I said, we offer three golf courses. We have an equestrian school, we have a spa, we have off-road driving, shooting, fishing. Uh, and we're in the heart of Scotland, as I said, so it's a great base to actually travel around Scotland. So whether it's whiskey tours, uh, distilleries, castles, um, we're there, like I say, in the heart of Scotland and are a great base. Right here uh, next to the Glen Eagles exhibit. But this, this is the actual Ryder Cup trophy. It is the actual Ryder Cup trophy. And uh, the man on top, uh, a number of people think it's actually Samuel Ryder, but it's a gentleman by the name of Abe Mitchell, who was Samuel's personal golf coach. So uh, the interesting story for Glen Eagles is that we feel that the Ryder Cup is coming home because the first time a match was played between professionals from Great Britain and the US was played at Glen Eagles in 1921 on the Kings course. So that planted a seed really for, for the Americans and the Brits to, to have an annual match. And six years later, the first match took place in 1927. Well, you know, there's a lot of people here at the merchandise show that hope this trophy stays this side of the pond. Hopefully not. We'll be taking it home. <laughs> in, the, in the spirit of competition. Absolutely. So, Billy, congratulations. A great year coming up. And uh, maybe someday we'll 
see this trophy here and I'll be in Glen Eagles. Who knows? That'd be, I'll go for that. You're always very welcome. Well, here we are at the Ping exhibit, and uh, Ping, I guess, began with putters. It's branched out. Marty Jerkson is the director of product development. And Marty, you're back to at least a new putter this year. Tell me about this little gadget right here. Yeah, it's a new putter, but the Carson TR is the name of it. it uh, it's really fun for us because it, it speaks to our history and our heritage. That's why we named it after our founder, Carson Solheim. So it's, it's a combination of five of our most classic models. We actually looked in our gold putter vault at what are five of the models that we have the most of in the gold putter vault, and let's bring those models out to the marketplace, but let's do it with new technology. So when we look at it, it has a beautiful copper looking finish that it kind of speaks to the history, you know, a lot of people uh, will recognize that finish on some of our, is, is similar to some of our old bronze and brilliant copper type of putters. Uh, but what we've done is offered it with our new True Roll, that's what the TR stands for, True Roll Groove Technology. So what the Groove Technology does, is different than, than what others do with their putter grooves in, in terms of the performance, they're deepest in the middle and they get gradually shallower to the heel and toe and top to bottom. What that does for us, it allows us to bring forgiveness to the putter. So we make the grooves shallower. Even when you miss hit a putt, normally the speed of the putt would go down. Well, by making them shallower, it speeds up those miss hits to be closer to the same speed of when you hit the putt perfect. So you don't have to hit it on a sweet spot all the time. You don't. Nobody does. That's the thing. Whether you like to admit it or not. Well, how about this? A lot of times on uh, when you want to reduce the speed of a putt, say on a downhill putt, a lot of times people have always been taught to go out toward the edge. Yeah. How will that come into play well, here? With this putter, you have to go way out out to the edge, yeah. So this, almost miss it. Yes, or almost miss it, yeah. So to get okay. that effect. Okay. You know, I'm old enough to remember the sound of the old ping putter. That's where it got its name, right? Yeah, yeah. feel and sound is, is something very high on the priority list for us. Auditory feedback, and we've done a lot of testing with this, and if you want to do your own test at home, put Bose noise-canceling headphones on or noise-canceling headphones, hit some putts, you can't feel anything. So, so much of the feedback you get with a putt is from the sound. And so in this putter, We've, made, we've put a elastomer badge in the back cavity to kind of help give it tune the, the auditory feedback that you get. It's a, it's a big part of putters and putting. We're going to see this on tour? Yeah, we've had great feedback from a lot of our tour players so far. We already have a few of them in play. And our tour players really embrace this true roll technology. We launched the, the groove insert technology in another putter family last year. And this is the first time we're milling it directly into the, a non-insert style putter. So I would anticipate uh, to see a lot of these out there. The litmus test is going to be, can I make that four or five footer consistently, right? It all comes down to, not only to uh, the equipment, but the guy who's got it in his hand. Yeah, there's no doubt about that, yeah. So this putter will help you make the four or five footer because your speed will be better on those. But more importantly, your 40 footer that you have before it, this is going to give you the ability to get that closer to the hole because that's really when, when your miss hit pattern is, is better. So hopefully you'll have more two two and three. It'll make putters. me a better lag putter, in other words. And no doubt about it. And that's what the everyday golfer is gonna gonna notice with these putters. Thanks, Marty. All right, I appreciate it. Stay with us. There's plenty more to come from the PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Wealth Management. In 1916, a small group of dedicated golfers decided to turn their passion into a business. And the PGA of America was born. Our plan was to teach golf and to run golf courses. But along the way, we learned we taught something much more valuable than a game. And we built something far more enduring than clubhouses or fairways. So now, after almost 100 years, we've come to realize that what we thought would be a success story has always been and always will be a love story. From the 28,000 dedicated professionals at the PGA of America to the 27 million men, women, and children who share the passion that is our business. Thank you. All right. Maybe you like the walk. Maybe you like the ride sometimes. How about... A golf board on the golf course. Yeah, it's a new product, relatively new, and Paul Hodge is uh, president of Golf Board USA. And Paul, tell me about the golf board. It looks like a combination snowboard, surf, 
board and golf cart. That's right. It, it really feels like snowboarding or surfing while you're on the course. And the whole attraction to the product is uh, it's, it's a great way to get the youth golfing again. So the 15 to 45 year old crowd, uh, if they had the choice between driving a cart or surfing down the course while they're riding, you, you can guess which one they'd prefer to do. Now, it looks like it probably, for a foursome, if everybody's on one of these, it's going to enhance and also speed up the pace of play. Uh, that's, a, the, the, that's a great point. That's a big deal is the speed of play um, on the golf board, being able to go to your own ball, getting closer to the greens. Um, you, you know, we can usually play 18 holes in two hours. So guys that don't have the time and need to get back to dinner with the family, they can go out the golf course and do a quick 18. Now, you mentioned the younger audience. How about fellows <clears throat> like myself, seniors? Agile may not be part of our vocabulary, but how difficult is this to maneuver around a golf course? It's very simple. Actually, my, my grandmother, 85, rides these around. Uh, uh, my partner, Don Waldman, 81, plays 18 holes on these all the time. It's actually, believe it or not, it's about a three-minute learning curve. Uh, with the balance bar and stability bar, it makes it very easy to ride. Anybody can ride it. And that's actually been the biggest surprise is that we've found um, that the the older generations are are loving the product and having a lot of fun. Easy to steer around, left and right turns. With with the balance bar, it's very easy uh, to steer around. It's it's very intuitive. There's a lot of engineering that's gone to the product, engineered for for years, and um, have made a product that's 100% made in the USA. That's that's very intuitive to ride. Is it a tough sell for golf courses or golf management companies to maybe? do away with golf carts and ease into these golf boards? Well, quite honestly, we really thought it would be. We thought it'd be very tough to, it was gonna be an uphill battle, but just the opposite's happened. We've been completely swarmed with new golf courses that recognize that they want to get new younger golfers into the game and want to speed up play and find new ways to make money. And so we've been pleasantly surprised with the uh, being completely swamped with orders and interest. What kind of feedback are you getting, say, from golf course superintendents in terms of the wear and tear on their prized possession, fairways and the areas around the green. That's probably one of our big, biggest advantages is that, uh, you know, only weighs 70 pounds compared to a six or 700 pound cart. Uh, it has far less impact than a, than a golf cart. And uh, so it, it helps, you know, uh, save them money. The wear and tear on a golf course. It does, right. Wow. You mind if I step up on this Absolutely. thing? Just to take a look at it balance wise? And uh, it's battery operated. It's battery operated. It has, a, has basically the highest grade automotive lithium battery pack available in the world today. Uh, it can actually go up to 36 holes per charge, but the, the great news is it charges in one hour. So being able to turn them around on the golf courses, you can get a lot of rounds in one day. And you can put your bag right here. And I also saw some video where uh, some of the people strap the bag and just use this to motor around. Absolutely, the, this big stand is removable. If you take this off, it really, truly then does feel like a surfboard snowboard. It, it's what we call the free ride, and it's a great, it's a great experience being able to surf the course in that that sort of style. You know, it's probably the closest thing to walking, as opposed to a golf cart, uh, if you're not going to walk ride because you're not seated at all. You're still standing up. And, you know, they say, especially uh, when you get a little older, you know, sitting down all the time isn't the best thing to do. You want to stand up. So this answers that. Uh, it's a it's a big important part of it. It keeps your core engaged. So as you're riding, it's it's really a core workout. And you know, sitting in the cart, you know, your back stiffens up, and you go to hit your ball, and you're you're not you're not feeling it. Riding the board, you're staying engaged, and you actually do get a workout. So it's it's a great way. It's kind of like a mid in between walking and riding a cart. You, you go fast, but you're still getting the exercise. All right. Pretty soon, you're going to see it on a golf course near you. It's the golf board. Thanks, Harry. Well, another friendly face here in a foreign port, not that Orlando's that foreign. Tom Carpus, head professional at Kennett Square and also on the PJ Rules Committee. What brings you to the merchandise show again? Well, this is where the business of golf convenes for three days. So if you're in the golf business, this is the place to be. This is it. Tom, did you notice anything new this year that maybe caught your eye? Well, I got in a little bit late yesterday because of the snow. I'm certainly glad I'm here, but uh, still looking around. Uh, I'm going to go to the new products section. There's always inventors that put new products in every every year, and that's always fun to see. There's always something different. Uh, but I looked at some launch monitors and uh, just a lot of and see a lot of a lot of old friends and catch up with guys that uh, memorize the rule book like you. Huh? That's it. Well, this is the. The number one reason why people come to the show and surveys have proven it is networking. So this is all, it's all about the network and 
our fraternity of professionals and then everybody else, that, you know, all of the allied associations. Now, as a member of the PJ Rules Committee, vice chairman, I believe, uh, you know, Tom has a busy summer planned, I'm sure, a busy golf season planned. Uh, give me a, an idea. What are some of the big events you'll be at? Well, it starts at the Masters in April, which is always terrific. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Uh, British Open in July, PGA in August, and then Ryder Cup in September. Wow. I just was take, took my picture with the Ryder Cup. It's on display here. The folks from Golf Scotland are here at the Glen Eagles Hotel. Maybe you'll get a penthouse suite. What do you think? Well, I don't know about a suite, but uh, you know, I, I, I believe that's where we're staying. So I've never been there. I hear it's going to be, I mean, always a Ryder Cup is special anyway. But certainly going over to, to Glen Eagles should be a Would you do us a favor? Bring inside golf back a little souvenir, maybe? I will. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll bring, and I'll present it to you on, on the show. That would make my Ryder Cup. <laughs> Tom, always a pleasure. Thanks, Harry. Safe travels. You too. Thank you. Stay with us. Plenty more coming up here on Inside Golf. We're going to be talking to Mr. <laughs> Fashion, Marty Hackle. You know, it's not just women that want to look good out on the golf course. Marty Hackle is next and a lot more for the PGA Merchandise Show on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Wealth Management. Defining a target? Realizing a dream. Susquehanna Bank can help you get your plans off the ground. Whether you're sending kids to college or doing something special for yourself. Susquehanna's financial advisors are worth talking to. We can help you find the smartest way to borrow money and save money in the process. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts for dreamers like you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. No doubt you've recognized Marty Hackle is here. Marty shows up at all the major, major events. Why not the PGA Merchandise Show? Talk in fashion, Marty. Yeah, why not, Harry? This is a great spot, and we're always seeing exciting things here at this time of year. It's a great show. Absolutely. Let me ask you a question. You know, are men now becoming more and more conscious of what they're wearing on the golf course? Just watch the fellas that walk by here. They're all looking in and picking up every trick they can get. It looks to me like you've done a pretty good job, well, Harry. Well, this was a Christmas present from my lovely wife, so uh, I, I still rely on her because my, I don't have any problems picking out shades, but it's when I try to mix them, Marty. Yeah. What's the secret? You know, the secret is you got to have fun, and you got to push the envelope just a little bit. So you can wear a little bit of color, but you have to have fun when you do it. If you stand in front of the mirror, Harry, for more than 10 seconds, go change. That's the secret then. That's it. The litmus test, formula. 10 seconds. That's it, 10 you second know, rule. You know, the other thing about golf is, unlike basketball where everybody wears a uniform or football, all the major sports, golf though, every week these guys are out there and they're getting paid a lot of money to wear whatever outfit they have yeah. on the golf course. Isn't that great? And you know, Ralph Lauren has got some terrific players. I mean, is there anyone better dressed than Matteo Matasero or Luke Donald or Tommy Watson, Tom Watson or Davis, Davis Love? I mean, they've got a great Jonathan, they get Jonathan Bird. They've got a great lineup. Now, how did you get the title of being Mr. Styles and the fashion director for Golf Digest? I mean, what was it in your background that suddenly there you are, the preeminent guy when it comes to golf fashion? Well, I was lucky enough to be in the right place, Harry, at the right time. My background was working in retail at Neiman Marcus and running some men's fashion companies, Alexander Julian. So I took sort of the one side and the other and put them together. And I've had the opportunity to work at Golf Digest for a bunch of years now. And it's great fun and I get to meet people like you and people in this industry and the players. It's a it's a kind of a dream come true. Yeah, you're on the Golf Channel. We see you there regularly. And uh, you look, by the way. I don't want my company to know I'm having this much fun. OK, we won't tell them. OK, it's between us and that little lens there. But if we can pull back, Marty, I mean, you talk about like, pushing it a little bit. Wow, you are so totally splendid here with the socks, the pants, yeah, well, the vest. Harry, never be funnier than your socks. That's my cardinal rule. <laughs> it's like the golf swing. It begins from the ground up, oh, right? Yeah. 
There you go. Well, that's it. We're making fashion into a golf tip. I love it. They always said 98% was how you looked, and you certainly live up to that rule. Marty, it's a Harry, pleasure. Thanks. This was great fun. Nice to meet you. Well, we have come across a new product line. It's called Game Golf. John McGuire is the founder and the CEO of Game Golf. And John, from the little bit I know about it, from spending some time here in your exhibition area, golfers can wear a little device strapped onto their belt, and they can track virtually every shot they hit over the course of 18 holes, download it, and see how far they're hitting their driver, where they're hitting their driver, where they're hitting every iron, and they're putting it. It's, it gives you really almost instant feedback as to the round you just played. Correct. Um, that's right, Harry. So a good analogy that I've heard people here um, talking or saying that it's like it's like shotling for the amateur golfer, except for it's very social. So, And you can't bring shotling home with you. So what it does, we have a little device that I have on my belt here. So this guy. And we have tags the, the size of a dime, and they fit into the top of your golf club handles. So and that's all part of the package that somebody package. would buy. And, and the package is just there. So, um, so we've got 18 tags, we, uh, and we have the device. 14 tags for your clubs and four extra, you know, in case you have a second driver or, or another club that you like to use uh, or, or change in and out. So basically, you wear this. You, we, know what club you're, we know what course you're on. We know what, what club you're using and we know your location on the course, that's the technology. And because we have over 30,000 golf courses mapped worldwide, when you, you just turn it on, there's no screens on it, so there's no technology getting in the way of the game here. It's been designed to be simple to use. We partnered with a guy called Eve Berhar, he's considered to be one of the top uh, designers in the world. And the reason we did that was to create something that was fun, visual and engaging. So we capture your distances of your clubs, because most amateur golfers are under club, you know, Lee Westwood said that to us, he's part of this as well. Um, we capture your location on the golf course and because, and then we capture all your statistics, your, your greens and regulation, fairway accuracy, driving distance, you know, basically the, the tour stats for the amateur golfer. And in this day of social media with uh, Twitter and Facebook and everything, you can take that information and send it to somebody who's following you, right? So what we've done is we've even integrated that even more tightly. So we have this thing called an activity feed where when, Harry, if you use the device, if I use the device, let's say I go out Saturday, but we're following each other through the system. I go out Saturday, you might go out Wednesday. Well, when, when you go out Wednesday, and maybe you outdrive me on hole number two at the same course, I'll get a notification to my phone saying, Harry has just out, out drove John. So it's very social like that. We've built it in. We've, what we're doing is statistics, that's all dry data. So you gotta bring it to life, and that's what we make do. it fun. Make it fun. That's the whole, one of our values in the company is is fun. So we're we're breathing, I think, vibrant. We're freshness into the golf data, so that people can be involved in an experience that they love and extend it beyond the golf course. Now, obviously, you're a golfer. Yes. But what other? I mean, how did you get this idea? What all of a sudden popped in your head to say, hey, this this looks like it could be something that a lot of people would like. So I guess to, you have to know me then. To, uh, so I've always been the guy that, uh, so I'm a software engineer, but I'm also, uh, I've worked with athletes on the mental side of performance. Nobody really. You're like a Bob Rotella? Uh, that's, yeah, I've trained. He's been on our show, so we're familiar with Dr. Bob. Yeah, so the, the trick to all of that is to just make things simple, really. If you can make things simple for people, if you can make things fun for people, they'll do it all day long. I think 2006, 2007, I really started thinking about wearable technology and, and how that is, was going to create new categories and change things. And that is technology that people will start wearing on the body, that collect data. Having come here for so many years and not being here myself, having been at 9.30 on the opening of the show, being on stage with Pete Bavacchia, the CEO of the PGF of America, being on stage with Mike McCarley, the, the president of the Golf Channel, and Graham McDowell, and those entities announcing that they've partnered with Game Golf and they see it as the future of the sport. It was very much overwhelming, to be honest. It was uh, fairly emotive. And, um well, John, thanks for the history. Thanks for Game Golf. Thanks for joining us here on Inside Golf. And if I ever get hooked up with you, don't give me that tweet at 4 o'clock in the morning that, uh, hey, I outdrove you on uh, 18 at Pebble Beach. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'd say your game might, probably is better than my game. but. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, John. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. Stay with us. There's plenty more to come from the PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Wealth Management. 
At this moment, across the country, families are packing their bags for a getaway. And no matter where they end up, they'll all be home by dinner. Plan your own at PlayGolfAmerica.com. From finding fun and affordable programs to finding advice from PGA and LPGA professionals, PlayGolfAmerica.com has a way for you to get away. Visit today for details. PlayGolfAmerica.com, your link to the game. Honey, what are all these cash rewards? Stellar checking with smart rewards. We earn cash on check card purchases and when we transfer money from our Stellar checking into our savings account. Cool. How should we spend them? Mm. Stellar. Stellar. Stellar! Probably groceries. <sighs> Stellar checking from Susquehanna Bank. Earn cash rewards whether you're spending or saving. Member FDIC. Next week here on Inside Golf, we bring our PGA merchandise trip to a close with a very special guest. Sort of in celebration of baseball spring training, we're going to spend our last week here in Orlando with Charlie Manuel. That's right. We'll talk to Charlie about what he's doing now, dividing his time between golf and baseball, and what his new role will be with the Phillies in 2014. Uh, I enjoyed it. It uh, took me a while to get loose, but when I did, uh, yeah, I, uh, it was good. I got to try out the Big Bertha, new, new Big Bertha driver, of course. Uh, it's quite a club, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I look forward to playing golf more this, this summer. Yeah, I, okay, let's talk about that. Uh, you got a new job. You're going to be a special advisor to Ruben Amaro, and exactly what does that mean, Charlie? I got a job, something similar to basically what uh, Pat Gillick and, uh, and Dallas Serene has, except uh, uh, instead of the things that they do, I'll do a lot of the same thing. I'll evaluate our talent in our organization. I'll probably be involved at the major league level as far as uh, in the trades that we make, as far as going and seeing the players that we're interested in play. Uh, and uh, I'll be in the instructional league and uh, Arizona Fall League. And actually, in talking to Ruben, you know, like uh, uh, he w definitely wants me to get involved in the hitting, you know, like it uh, through the minor leagues and our uh, in, in our fall program. So, you know, it's going to be it's it's going to be something similar to what I did when I first came to work for the Phillies, and I was an advisor to Ed Wade. Basically, same job, and uh, I liked it. It's, and it gives me a little bit more time off, gives me time to play a little golf and things like that. But at the same time, Harry, I plan on doing some work. There's more to come next week as well. We'll be back here in Orlando to talk everything about golf and merchandise and how to make 2014 a better year for you and your golf game. I'm Harry Donahue. Remember, no matter how bad it's going for you out there, don't pick up. We'll see you next time on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Wealth Management. Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Wealth Management doing what counts and by the Philadelphia section PGA experts in the game and business of golf.